We are at uh, PMR Expo 2019 in Cologne and as every year uh, I'm meeting here my friend Harald and um, yeah Harald is maybe you can explain yourself the, the, for, for me he's the main person for the 3GPP standard for MCPDT, MC video and uh, MC data yeah I'm, I'm chairman of the technical forum of TCCA working very much with testing interoperability certification for Tetra and also for appropriate technologies and um, this is probably also the first question you wanted to ask <laughs> yes yes absolutely because we had just uh, a few weeks ago we had uh, a blood test uh, according to the standard and uh, yeah please tell us how was the result is it uh, the right uh, do we progress uh, do we improve yes we do um, this, this, it was actually the fourth plug test already. Mm -hmm. It was end of September in, in Kopio in Finland. And we had more than 30 vendors participating and also a lot of observers. Um, there are good progress in testing. We had uh, many, many test cases executed. And for the first time, uh, the observers defined some, some test scenarios, okay. which we also tested and which will be included in the test specification for the next plug test as well. So we are moving more towards real test scenarios instead of just testing test cases. And um, we had uh, the last uh, plug test, we had always some success rate, you know? Yeah, I think it's, it's, it's increasing slightly the success rate, but you know, I'm, I'm, I'm always <laughs> in front of the failure rate because <laughs> every failure we discover is a bug we can fix before it goes into the market. Yeah, perfect. So we are, um, yeah, we as Tasta are, you know, the first time uh, at the plug test also. And uh, how is it actually if we want to certify our solution finally? Do you have, do you think about the process? Yes, uh, so the plug test is only testing. Exactly. It's, it's, a, it's a possibility for the vendors yeah. to test their products or early implementations. Uh, but the plug test does not certify anything. Uh, for the certification, uh, TCCA has recently joined forces with the Global Certification Forum, the GCF, and we will establish a joint task force where we look into the processes, possibilities, how to certify mission critical devices and systems. Okay, and uh, do you have a time schedule for that? Uh, the time schedule, I mean, it's proposed that we do this in the first half of next year, 2020. And we will see how far we go with the, with the, with the joint task force. Hopefully we will very soon have something where you can also certify your products to, to, to prove that it's really compliant to the switching to these standards. That's great. So we are in November, the first half of 2020 is not too far away. And um, yeah, we keep uh, pushing and moving with our solution and uh, looking forward to be one of the first uh, hopefully certified uh, solutions in the world. Yeah. yeah. So thank you very much. And one last question, Harald. Uh, you are offering also some uh, training, right? Uh, because um, our, the, uh, the mission of this video is basically that we want also to educate people mm -hmm. and that they understand what is Mission Critical Push to Talk? What is 3GPP? And um, yeah, we are uh, supporting that, uh, that um, yeah, the end users or the partners are understanding better uh, the concept behind. So give me just a few words about uh, your training sessions. Yes, um, you know, I'm also working as a consultant and trainer with my company, Arico Technologies. And I've developed together with a colleague from Nomo Research, with Aiko Seidel, a training course from Mission Critical IT, which we believe was the first training course on this subject in the world. And we're doing this for five years now, and basically two, three times a year we have a training course. The next one will be in February okay. 2020 in Munich. Uh, still places available. Great. Uh, and you will learn everything about the Mission Critical features, yeah. uh, how you can put this into operation and what is important to consider. Super. I think I will sign up for it, so I try to be there and uh, yeah, to, it's, it's never bad to get educated and to raise your knowledge to understand things better and uh, yeah, everybody's welcome to join and uh, yeah, we see you 
hopefully then in February on this training session and we are going to see what's maybe happened during the next few months uh, to improve the, yeah, the standard, the stake and the interoperability between the different kind of uh, vendors. Thank you very much, Arad. Thank you.